Hi, uh, I'm Daniel. I'm a new PI running the Functional Metabolomics Lab at the University of Tübingen. And I'm going to walk you through quickly how to um, convert your LC-MS-MS data to MZML format and then how to upload this to uh, the massive repository and make your data set public and available um, to other researchers. This is mainly targeted um, to the participants of the um, DOM interlab study we're running right now, but uh, maybe beyond that study, it, it's also useful for, for any other um, LCMS MS data set and, and may help you. So in order to showcase this, I'm gonna quickly connect here on my uh, remote computer and I prepared a little list of things we're gonna need. So first we need MOSPEC raw data, then we need the software tool Proteo Wizard and in particular the MS Convert part. Then we need a massive user account and WinSCP, this is an FTP client. Um, where you can get those different things is basically described here in the URL uh, given um, behind that information and then uh, we also need some generic um, information about the data set we're gonna submit. So in this case, uh, we're gonna convert raw data from lab 20 from the DOM interlab study um, and then basically make this data available through Massive. So now the first thing I'm gonna look up is here where my data is and I located this here in my interlab DOM study folder and then in the folder raw. So we we'll see here we have four different folders for different like experiment types, negative mode, MS1 and MS2, as well as positive mode, MS1 and MS2. If we open this and we have Excalibur installed, we can also take a very brief look at the data. So we see some peaks when we click in here. We see MS2 spectra and MS1 spectra. So overall the data is there, the structure looks good, so we could move on. Um, converting this. In order to convert this data, I'm gonna use MS Convert, and, uh, and as I said, this is part of the Proteo Visit package, which I downloaded and installed before. So again, if you do not have it, here is the URL. I will also uh, post this in the comments below, so you can just go there and, and download uh, Proteo Visit. Once it's installed, you can simply um, launch MS Convert by typing in it into your start menu here and then um, a small window should appear that basically has a couple of settings in here like a file selection tab. So most importantly for the conversion to MZML what we want to do is also peek pick our profile mode data to centroid. So in case by the default settings peak picking is not selected then you can select this through here this drop down menu peak picking and then it's most important you select MS level 1 and 2 if you have DDA MS MS data. Um, as an algorithm I use here vendor um, which is like I think the default for at least thermal data. So in our case this was already selected so this is listed here and then I'm just gonna do some brief checks. We want to have 32 bits. I use like some file compressions here and then write index and TPP compatibility. Depending on the number of cores of your machine, you can also set here um, the number of files that are converted in parallel, which eventually like speeds up that entire process. So now in order to select the um, files that are supposed to be um, converted, I click here on browse and then go to my folder where the raw data is located and then I would here start with negative mode and then simply select them all by clicking them and then um, holding shift and clicking the last one so they're all selected and then I hit open and then you can see them here and it also like pre-fills an output folder which would be the same folder in order to not get confused between raw and MZML files I will simply change this location to M ZML here as a um, ending and then all I need to do is I need to hit start 
and it asks me if it should create like a folder which I just specified so I say yes and then you will see that 10 files should be like started to be converted in parallel and again this may also depends on the number of cores of your machine so I have 10 physical cores so it should be fairly um, fast this conversion process okay when everything uh, works well then there should be like a green bar and finished and then you're done with that conversion so now because I have um, four folders here I in theory would need to do the same thing with all four raw folders but in order to speed up this video I did this already beforehand and converted them here in this other folder mzml when you look here, see like the different MZML files are present, are present, and now we can move on and actually upload this data to Massive. So in theory, you could upload this through um, the Massive web page and like the web interface. However, if you upload a larger number of files and if they exceed a certain um, size, then it's really beneficial to use an FTP client. So here in our case again the url for the ftp client we use um, is given here for winscp um, which is also uh, for free you can download this and then just launch it here i have an icon on my desktop so i just launch winscp and then it already like opens this dialog box to actually um, connect to a server so in my case i have already like a preset here but if you would not have that what you want to select you want to select FTP, then the host name, which would be massive.ucsd.edu, and then you just provide your username here. In my case, it's Daniel, and then your password. And if you want to save this here, then it also gets remembered for the next time, which I already did. Then you just hit lock in, and then it should basically display your massive or GMPS um, personal folder here. And as you can see, I already uploaded um, quite some data. And now if I wanna upload some more, then I can just like make a folder. Here I organized this somehow in my um, DOM subfolder. And then we could make a folder here for um, DOM interlap 2021. And then I simply go to that folder and now track and drop both the raw and the MZML folder just right into here. And then a bar, um, a box should appear and showing you the process. As this is quite some uh, data and um, yeah, would actually like take quite some time, I also did that already beforehand in order to speed this up. So we can cancel here this process and instead of the interlab 2021 folder I go to my other interlab DOM study folder in which I already uploaded the raw and um, MZML files from lab 20. Again it's here organized in these two folders. Um, here we have the raw files and then here the MZML files and the same type of folder structure and um, the same kind of like um, naming. So now in order to um, put this data from my personal folder here actually into like a massive data set, I need to go to massive. So the URL again uh, will be posted in the, in the comments below. So it's massive.ucsd.edu. And then if you type that in, you should um, basically end up here at this place. And then I'm just gonna sign in again with the same username and password as we just did um, for the FTP upload. And in case you don't have an account yet, it just like takes like a minute or so. Obviously you would need to, to do that before you start uploading or connecting through um, WinSCP. So now once you're on this uh, page and you're logged in, 
you can simply click on browse, uh, excuse me, submit your data. And then such a Proteo safe workflow will appear in which we can like provide different information about the um, uh, data set, such as a title, species, instrument, and so on, and then specify also the files. So here I prepared this information already beforehand. So we have DOM interlab LCMS 2021 as a title. Then the PI here is Chen. So, and then species is Synergococcus and environmental samples. So I select those and then just and the instrument was an Orbitrap fusion and then the description is basically and interlab study of marine uh, dissolved organic matter and algae extracts. Okay, so now I filled in all this information. So now only the uh, MZML and raw files are missing. Therefore, I go to the data selection tab here. And now a new window should appear in which I can browse my personal um, user folder. So I have to go a little bit down. In my case, this would be here, my username Daniel. And then I can browse to exactly the location I just um, uploaded this to through WinSCP. And here you can see it's already open. And in order to like select this, I just click on it. Then it should be slightly blue. And then I go up again and hit Peaklist files for MZXML or MZML. And then I can go down again and select the raw files for raw spectrum files. And now I hit finish selection and then all I need to do is hit the submit the button down here and then an error occurs. Oh, I need to like specify post translational modifications, which I forgot. So there are none and then also some keywords. Um, study. All right, I hope we're good now. So let's try it again. Submit. And this time it was successful. So it says now here status running. And here again, the files I just selected. So now it is going to take a couple of minutes. So hence, I also started this earlier when i click here under jobs i basically see here this list of all like massive um, or gmps workflows i recently run and when i click here on done i should now see my um, finished data set and the only remaining thing for us to do now is to make this public so here you can see it's still private so it's only um, accessible by myself, but because I want to share this with the other um, people in the interlab study, I uh, just gonna hit now here, make public. And then it asks me if I'm really sure to do that. And I say, okay. And now this private button should become a public button. And when I now click on the um, main page of Massive and click on browse publicly, available data sets, then this data set should be listed here. So yeah, with this, um, I guess we're at the end of the tutorial and I hope that's easy for you to, to do and straightforward and you can upload your data and make it publicly available and massive. All right. Thanks for watching and see you around.